Yo, what up, YouTube? This is your boy Enrique, aka Biggie's Comics, coming at you with my first video for 2018. That's right, guys. Happy New Year. It's 2018. I was up late last night, and I'm up early this morning. <laughs> I don't know how I'm doing it, but I am. Uh, just having a little trouble sleeping, but um, it's cool, so I can talk to you guys now. <laughs> all right. Um, first of all, I just want to apologize for my last live stream. Um, I was having so much technical difficulty. That video was horrible. <laughs> my mic seemed not to be working, but you can't tell as you're recording it. And the lag was just so bad that day. I guess because there's people on vacation. So, um, you know, when you have cable internet provider, the more people that use it in your neighborhood, the laggier it gets. Um, you know, I don't know what was going on with it, you know. So right now it's early in the morning. So I had to come up with like a little area to record because everyone's still sleeping so i can't use my usual area so i'm in the living room and all of a sudden now <laughs> you can hear the chirping from my smoke alarm the battery needs to be changed and you can hear the water from my turtle tank <laughs> you know it's very loud but um i'm gonna have to roll with it because um you know that's how it is when the family's home they're home uh there's nowhere to to there's nowhere private where i can make these videos at so we'll just um roll with it hopefully it sounds it doesn't sound too bad <laughs> all right so the reason I'm doing this is um, I don't have really a big haul, but um, the books that I showed um, during that that uh, that live stream, um, I, I rewatched some of it and I could tell it was laggy. You couldn't hear what I was saying, um, so I just I want to reshow those books here to give uh, proper shout outs to, to some of the guys. Um, also, I, I did pick up my new comic books from this week, and uh, I think I have a book or two from last week that I didn't show. So, um, let's just get on with it. Let me show you what I got. Uh, okay, so first off this week, here we know Doomsday Clock. This is uh, the regular cover. Um, I have not uh, read it yet, the story. I just haven't had time this week. It's been busy. Um, but I am going to read it. You know, I was, I was, it was okay with the first one. So, now let's see what's going on with the second one. So, that's the regular cover. And then this is the... The B variant, which is a really nice Lex Luthor cover, is really dope. Um, next, we have Demon Hell on Earth issue number two. Um, this one, I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I'm gonna read all these books today because today's in New Year's. I'm home. Um, you know, there's this really not much to do, uh, so I'm gonna finish all these books up today. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. The, the issue one was really good. Issue two, I could tell by the cover, doesn't disappoint. Um, looks really, really nice. All right. So then we have a little metal tie-in, uh, Hawkman Bound number number one, which makes sense because if you read issue four, you know, they timed it perfect with, with this one. So, you know, you can learn about Hawkman. Um, uh, so it's cool, it's cool. All the tie-ins have been great for, 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 you know, Dark Knight's metal. So I don't expect this one to be any different. Then we have issue 37 of The Flash, and um, I read already, I, I caught up to issue 36. The Flash has been solid. I've been happy that the artist has been changed, so um, it's pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. And, you know, I have from Rebirth one shot all the way to 37 now, so it's a complete run of this volume. So I'll just keep it until they decide to do it. And it's only $2.99, so I can deal with it. Not a big deal. Then I picked up some of these um, True Believers. Um, I don't pick up too many of the True Believers, you know, uh, unless I don't have the books. But I really like it when they change the covers because, you know, then it becomes like a variant cover almost, So, so which is cool. So this is Phoenix uh, Bizarre Adventures. This is The Death of Phoenix. Um, that cover is nice. This cover is really nice. Phoenix Origins. And then, of course, the, what's the, all the fusses this week is um, Phoenix Resurrection. Uh, this is, you know, the legacy number one. This is, like, you know, it's uh, it's part of the legacy story, um, bringing back, you know, Phoenix Jean Grey. And this is the Art Germ variant. Uh, but this is the, she's in the red suit variant. There's another one more expensive. I believe it's one in 100 or something like that, where she's in green. Um, but I got this one for my LCS, you know, we get it at cover price, so it's not a big deal. Um, I read this one already, to be honest, uh, cause I just wanted, you know, I really want to give Marvel a chance with these legacy, um, you know, these legacy books and, uh, and it, it, it didn't disappoint. I really, you know, enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to issue number two, you know, so let's see, um, 
Fingers crossed that they keep doing a good job with it. Um, the next books that I got also was a set of books from eBay uh, because my LCS didn't have a certain variant, particular variant that I wanted. So I went to eBay and then the eBay seller packed it without cardboard. So he ended up, um, let me just show you what it is. This is um, Marvel 2-in-1, uh, you know, Thing in Human Torch, you know, from the Legacy Run, Fate of the Four. That's the name of the story arc, part one. Um, number one, this is the regular cover. Um, I wanted I, I wanted the Kirby variant, which I did get, and then I just added this one just because you know when you combine shipping, it it makes it worth it and it's paying for one book. So I got it from there. But he sent them that cardboard. And it got it was really folded, dented up here. Can't tell because of the the you know the the, the bag is in right now. But um, he packed it like that. But I already got a refund from it, so it's okay. Just, I read this already. Story is you know really good. I mean, I, I, I'm seeing where they're going with it. Um, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's really good. You know, it's, I'm going to say it's really, really good, but it's good. The artwork is good. The story is good. I really hope they bring back the Fantastic Four. That would be awesome. I would be a supporter of that. I would um, buy their, you know, I would start off their issues and see, you know, if they start their title again, I, I, I would I would put it on my pull list and see what it's about. But so far, so good, you know. That's, so I'm, I'm, I'm in for this right now. That's all I can say. And then this is the one I really wanted. This is the Kirby variant. You know, it's the homage to that other... I forgot the issue. Um, sorry, I don't know the issue right now. But um, it's an homage to Silver Age Fantastic Four. You know, another cover with, you know, the thing is like that on there. But, um, yeah, so that's just my new comic books. Just wanted to, you know, show you guys those. And then um, uh, just a couple of the other books I got first off. Um, shout out to Hudai Comics. I, I gave him a shout out in the last video, and I put the the link to his channel in the description in the other video. Um, this is part of the the pack I won from him at the Great on the Great Legends auction. This is Poe Dameron number one. Um, I don't know which variant is this to be honest, because I don't really follow um, Poe Dameron or, or the Star Wars books anymore, so I'm not sure what variant it is. But it's a variant came in packaged really nice. Um, Nia Mint, Manny Mint condition and just shout out to russell thank, thank you and then the next books are from our act of kindness you want to say uh, or aok -okay from uh alex the comic quarter uh he put out a video like i was mentioning in that video he put out a video showing a, a thrift store a toy store that was going out of business in his neighborhood and um it was buy one action figure get one free and they had the vintage figures you know that we grew up with in the 90s and i saw this silver surfer that i really wanted um so it was 20 bucks and then the, uh, you could get one of equal value or lesser for free so i picked up he had a few colossuses up there so i picked a colossus figure up and um you know, I sent them the money, sent them the shipping. He ended up sending me more stuff, man. He ended up sending me some books as an act of kindness. Say, you know, he hooked me up with. It. So I just want to say thanks. I want to give him a proper shout out. I'll say thank you. Um, the link to the description to his channel, of course, is in the other video also, so you can check it out. Um, these are books that are basically catered to me because um, this is the type of books I collect, man. You guys know already. Uh, so this is World's Finest 158. It's a really cool. All nice, low-grade copies, but, you know, when it comes to these Silver Age books, I, and, um, condition doesn't matter. Uh, the only condition I'm worried about is if I'm going to slab something, you know, and, and, and that, that's, that's what I'm particular. But when I'm trying to fill out runs like World's Finest and Jimmy Olsen, yeah, listen, as long as the, the, the staples are intact, the cover is intact, then I'm good, man. Nothing wrong with, with it being low-grade, you know. I'm cool with that. Then uh, Swamp Thing number 16. Um... I'm not sure. I think I'm pretty sure Bernie Rice still did this one, but I know he stopped it after a certain number. I just don't know which one, but it's always cool. I do have quite a few of these uh, Bernie Rice and Swamp things, though, so it's really nice that he sent that. That was cool. Um, Superboy 154, and um, I believe that's a new Adams cover. Um, Superboy is another run. The, the Silver Age Superboy is the run, run that I like to pick up also. So, with, with, you know, this one is a Silver Age one. And. Um, yeah, so it's really cool. Thank you for that one. And then he sent me this one here, Superboy 113. Really dope. He put them all in mylars and fullbacks. I just can't thank you enough, man. That's really awesome of you. Then, of course, Superman 230. Dope, dope cover. I believe that's, if I'm not mistaken, that's a Kurt Swan cover. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I think it is. But it's just awesome, Superman. And I believe that, that looks like... Uh, 
you know, uh, Lex, yeah, that is, that's Lex Luthor in a Superman suit, so, you know, he, he dons a Superman suit now in Rebirth, but I'm, I'm assuming this is the first time we see him, you know, in the, in the Silver Age like that. Then, of course, which I was really happy with these, because I'm, this is one of my goals for 2018, is to complete the Jimmy Olsen run, um, Superman's Paul Jimmy Olsen number 103, and 106, so shout out to Alex for that, that was really cool. You did not have to, um, but I do appreciate it, all right? All right, so last but not least, uh, I wanted to get a shout out to the Doom 143. He uh, he put me on to, um, he, well, he put everybody on his videos to SpartanComics.com. Um, I saw a few people in the community that, you know, um, went there and bought some stuff and they talked about it and they got me intrigued on how to, you know, uh, on, on it. So I went on the website and, he, yo, they're... Website is freaking awesome. Just back issues after back issues after back issues. Two dollars, one dollar, three, like really low price. And you search them by by cover, and it just it's awesome. You know, you could I spent literally like almost an hour just going through back issues. Um, and I did pick up two books from there at on the cheap. So I picked up this one here. This is uh DC Comics presents number three. Um, it's a, this is another run that I would love to complete, but. Um, I'm not. I don't want to say I'm going to complete it this year, um, but I do pick them up when I find them on, on the cheap and all that. Um, the DC Comics Presents run has a bunch of good stories, nice covers. Um, it has some nice keys in it. It's just a really nice, solid run to you know for any uh, DC fan. You get you know you get a, a lot of characters in, in in this in this run. It's just a good. The volume one run is really nice. So I picked that one up for. I don't remember how much. It was because it's already it's been like a month now that I've had it, and then the last book that I picked up from them was this one here because they do have keys on there too. King Size Annual, The Avengers number ten, uh, first appearance of Rogue, um, and I, I, again I got this cheap there. I probably didn't pay more than for the key. I probably didn't pay more than fifteen bucks for this one, sixteen at the most. Um, so that was awesome to pick up you know those two books for under twenty bucks uh, with you know shipping. So that was awesome. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. Um, real quick, I just want to give a, a contest update here, real fast. I know I don't want to keep boring you guys. I know you guys got things to do. Um, so this is my, my contest entry so far. We have uh, Ray Junior, CBF, uh, Rebel Comics, Larry, uh, Redbeard, Seeking Name Comics, Jeff Johnson's Joker. I said Jeff Johnson's. <laughs> I added an S where it wasn't supposed to. Be. Uh, Joker M two one Marky three one six. The comic book is steep. Uh, the Simply Incredible Podcast, Drasius Comics and Things. You know, real quick, Drasius Comics and Things, I just wanted to give him a huge shout out. Um, I saw one of his videos uh, in the middle of the night because I couldn't sleep uh, last night. He just did his first haul for 2018 and what a haul it was, man. It was a huge Batman collection that he purchased. Um, he even gave the price of what he paid for it. Congratulations, that was an awesome buy, awesome way to start off the new year, uh, you know, comic related, um, and uh, I'm going to put a link for that video in the description, you guys really need to check that out, also just here, just to let, let you guys know, if you guys haven't seen his, his contest entry, he started his channel, his first video was the entry to my previous contest before this. Uh, which I believe it was probably like a 500 sub contest, maybe like a year ago or so. That was his first video to see. And that video is still up. It's in my original playlist for my original contest. So to see how people evolve from when they start to where they are now, it's, it's amazing. And it's a big difference. I check you guys to really go. Um, I'm not saying this because I want a view on it like that. But to really check his, see his growth and how much he's come um in the community, you know, in the year's time, which is amazing. So, shout out to Jasia, which means Richard backwards, guys. If you guys don't know, um, that was really cool. You know, it, it's, I really appreciate him making another entry, you know, for this contest. Uh, that was really cool. Um, Alfred83 Comics and, of course, Mr. Unknown Comics Guy. Mr. Unknown Comics Guy also did an awesome video and he brought up memories of, like, when I first started on YouTube <laughs> that yeah, I didn't even think about. And I'm not ashamed to say it, but it was a contest entry I did for Wheel of Comics back in the day. Um, my wife helped me with it. It was a really funny video. And the video is still up because it's in my playlist, in my old playlist of contests that I did or YouTube contest videos. So you guys could check that out. Um, that was really cool, to, you know, to reminisce back when you first started to the way you are now. 
Um, so that's it, guys. Um, real quick, just we are having episode 41 tonight of Chilling with the NY Warriors. Um, it's going to be at 10 p.m. Join us. And so, I don't know how many other guys are going to be on there, but we're going to recap 2017. Well, what were some of our, you know, we're not going to show all of our purchases, but we'll recap on some of our, our biggest purchases for the year. Um, you know, what, what we, you know, comic related wise. And also, what do we look forward to in 2018? You know, if uh, some of the guys have a list, they're going to say what they're going to accomplish. If they don't have a list, they'll just talk about what they look forward to the most in 2018. All right, guys. So until tonight, peace.